I'm G. Lakshmi Priya and I'm here to explain the ideal farm which stands for improved and developed eco-friendly agricultural land under the sub-theme sub sustainable agricultural practices. The basic aim of the project is to maximize the use of land, minimize the input cost, at the same time use the natural resources in an efficient way without depleting them. In the project, we have tried to show various types of farming First, starting with the terrace farm, in which uh, we have depicted three types of crops uh, tea, sugarcane, corn, mustard. What it basically aims to do is that when it rains, the top soil will further shift to the other steps instead of washing away completely, and it makes the other steps that more fertile. Then we come to the pomological farm or the fruit farm, in which we have tried to depict orange, uh, guava, mango, plums, watermelon, and other such fruits. We have tried to show many types of farms just so that if one of them goes bad due to bad weather or some other such mishap, the farmer can still sustain by using the other means of production. Next, we come to compost, which is an efficient way of using the waste, the domestic waste as well as the agricultural waste to turn it into a manure for the field. Then we have the biogas, which makes efficient use of the cow dung produced in the poultry and it turns it into fuel, which is used in the houses. Then we have the solar panels which makes use of the solar energy and turns it into electrical energy which is further used for the lighting and then we have the rainwater harvesting which makes sure that the rainwater that is collected on the terrace goes down and gets stored in the underwater tank and the same runoff is also stored and then used for irrigation in the paddy field like such then we have the fishery or the pond in which we rear fish which is another means of production. Then we have the poultry in which we rear cattle, livestock and other such animals for producing milk, eggs, uh, meat and other such dairy products. And then we have the rice field in which of course it is irrigated by the rainwater harvesting and at the same time it, is, it acts as a fishery as we put fish in the same water as uh, the cultivation of rice requires a lot of water. So the basic aim of the project is to reduce the input cost and increase the profits. What it basically does, it, uh, it expels all the other expenses such as chemical fertilizers and the cost of electricity as it both is uh, done by the compost, the biogas and the electric uh, solar panels. This project is made indigenously with the use of reused thermocol, LED bulbs, uh, cardboard, uh, a wooden base and other such uh, stationary items. I consulted the officials of the agricultural department and also visited the website for the same. They provided uh, in basic information for this which says that if we, in, uh, if we imply all these agricultural practices, we can reduce the input cost by about 25% while raising the profits to about 50%. The basic yield in Arunachal Pradesh is about um, 2 to 2.5 metric tons per year but by using these practices we can definitely increase that. The basic uh, land cultivation is about 63,000 square kilometers. Although gym cultivation is practiced by using settled uh, practices like terrace farming, crop rotation system and other such practices, we can definitely increase the potential of that land. Thank you.